Oh my goodness, that's absolutely amazing. I think we need a clapping for that. You don't even need a microphone, obviously. Your performance of the Duke of Mantua in Rigoletto. What's special about Rigoletto for you? Well, for Rigoletto, it's one of Verdi's three triumvirate operas, Travatore, Traviata, Rigoletto. It's his middle era. Mm -hmm. But what's important about it is it's a story of how deceit and treachery can get the worst of us, even if mm. we think we're doing something right. It's even if we want to get back at somebody, it's really bad. Very tragic. And, and what makes a great performance for you? Hmm. A great performance for me is when I feel that I've connected on a deep level to the character with, with, with which I'm embodying for the evening. And that means I synthesize great music with the words, the syntax, the text that I'm communicating to the public. And if which I do that... requires a lot of study. Huh? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of study involved in opera, but... When I feel good about it, I know that I've connected to the role. I know that I've connected to the character. Now, speaking of risks, you're a pilot of small aircraft in your spare time, which, of course, is, is very frightening for some people. Is flying akin to singing in a way at all for it's you? A, it's a great question. I think that flying is the same, in, in the same way of singing, I think flying is a way for me to be one-tracked, living in the moment. Mm -hmm. When I sing, what's so critical for me is reminding myself that the only job I have to do is communicate incredible music to the public. So concurrently, being a pilot, when I'm flying, the only obligation I have when I'm flying is to fly the damn plane. That's it. And when I'm up there, I clear my head. I get the opportunity to just be in the clouds and up in the sky. And that's, it, it informs my singing. It informs me that I have to be present and in the moment as an opera singer and not think about anything else. That's fantastic, and, and obviously it's, a, it's as much of a passion as, as singing can be a passion for, for you. How much influence have the great tenors, for instance, the ones we know obviously from the past, uh, Pavarotti, uh, uh, Domingo, had on your career and ambitions, and how easy or difficult is it to create your, to develop your own style? Great question. I'd say, first of all, it's important to know the past mm -hmm. in order to be the future and the present. So. I can't be a great singer without understanding what came before me. Just like I think in government and in politics, if we don't know our history, we can't govern. So in singing, I have to know Pavarotti, I have to know Corelli, I have to know Domingo, and I respect all of them and I respect their talents, but I have to build something unique and special now for the public, for perpetuity, and that's what I'm doing. And is perfection ever the goal, or is it your, your teacher talked about the art of imperfections in the voice? I think that there is this wonderful line where one has to be excellent, that perfection is too far, but good is not enough. And I always try to fall in that street of excellence. Mm -hmm. And the moment when I try to go to, to the line of perfection, I end up slamming back into good. And it takes a lot of work just to get back to excellent. Excellence is what I strive for. Okay. Um, so far, it seems like you're specializing mostly, not entirely, uh, but mostly in Italian and French opera. Have you any ambitions to get into the German composers? I love German opera. I don't know if my voice is really well suited to it. I sing is a it lot. A, it is a vocal decision? It's a vocal decision. Uh, largely, it's a vocal decision. There's a lot of Wagner that I could sing someday. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I will. I think a lot of those operas I don't go to, they come to the artist. I think there's a moment in time when certain music just arrives because it's the right time. It's just the synthesis the, the, that the stars collide. And I don't know when that'll happen, if it'll happen. I will sing a lot of Russian opera too, I intend to. Um, German opera, I don't know. It's, a, it's also, is it a, a language question as well? No. With, with Russian, no? No, as a, as a musician, it's important for me to be able to sing and pronounce whatever language I, I work in and understand the text and why the words exist. And mm -hmm. sort of, that's not the barrier for entry for me. It's the construction of the music. Oh. 